Yeah. Just like in the first service. Alright, I have to start that over. I need more energy. Alright, let's try this again, alright? Alright, come and fill me again. How are we all doing today? That's what I like it. Oh, wow, that was so beautiful, so beautiful. Man, we got so many new faces here. This is so awesome. For, for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Aiden Fountain. I am the lucky son of a great pastor. And let's all give a hand to my dad when he's a great pastor. And also, I got my beautiful mom here who also sings the worship team. Let's also give a hand to her as well. They did such a good job today. So, for those of you who were not in the first service, I want to welcome you all in. And we're going to start this service with a quick story. I love stories. I love telling stories. So, uh, I do not remember when this happened, but it was, it was not that long ago. Um, I was getting ready to take my first DMV permit test. I'm a big boy now. I'm doing some big things now. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But then I heard one word that I do not like, that I need to study. Ooh, no, 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 no. I did not want to study. I didn't want to study right then. I still don't like studying now. I know I have to. I'm not very good at it. And so I did not really study. I was like, oh, I got time. I'll study. I'm pretty sure I will. And then I wake up. Next thing you know, the day was the day I needed to take my permit test. And I'm like, oh. Whoops. Bye -bye. But that's what it sounded like. Anywho. <laughs> I was like, man. Well, I, I guess all I can say is I hope I pass. Maybe I will. I hope so. I did not pass flying colors. <laughs> I still have not passed my permit test yet. That's my sixth try. Okay, let's focus, yeah? But we don't talk about that. So I didn't study, and all I could say was, well, I hope I pass. Y'all have ever been there before? Maybe you never studied for a test, and then the test day came, and you're like, oh, man, well, I hope I pass. And maybe your friend said, did you pass? And you're like, well, I hope so. What about in life? Maybe you are going through something right now, and if you really hope that it'll get better, but you feel, it feels like it's not, and you just start feeling hopeless, kind of discouraged, like things are not gonna get any better. You just feel like you just wanna quit. You feel like, I don't know if I can keep doing this anymore. Like I'm going through so much right now. I feel so hopeless. I feel so discouraged. I feel like I just wanna quit. Well, there's a saying that I have for all the people here that I think is very important, and it might be on the screen, I'm not so sure, but it says, there is hope today for who all who will call on his name. I'm gonna say that one more time. There is hope today for who all who will call on his name. Whose name? His name. No way. Yes way. All the way. Call on Yahweh, his name. That's true. Hey, hey, yeah? Is that good? I've been practicing that, okay? It took me forever. Man, that felt so good. So maybe you do believe in Christ, but you feel like, you still feel discouraged, you still feel hopeless, and you feel like there's no way that God will wanna help me. I'm a nobody. I, I'm not that special. Why would God wanna give me hope? And how do I know he's even listening? Will he help me? Well, in Isaiah 40, 28 to 31, I feel like this verse is very encouraging, and hopefully that will encourage everybody in this room as well. It says, have you never heard, have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak and he never grows weary. Or weary. Have you all ever grown weary in your life before? You're tired? Oh, I've been there so many times. Good thing that God's not like that. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired. A young man will fall in exhaustion. But, there's that word but in there, this is important. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isn't that awesome? God gives power to the powerless. He gives strength to the weak. I mean, that's basically the reason why Jesus came to this earth in the first place. That's why he died on the cross. To die for those who felt hopeless, who felt weak, who felt like they were a nobody. He died on the cross for those people. He came, he ate with the sinners, guys. He didn't eat with the goody two people. No, he ate with the sinners. 
like me, like all of us in this room. There is a promise in the Bible for you who answers the heart's cries. Dear friend, if you open the pages, just read it, and you'll soon see why. Despite the despair and the darkness, there is hope today for who all who will call on his name. Don't give up because God does not give up on you. Put your trust in Jesus Christ and he will give you hope.